What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the RC Coco. This is Back to Wildlife Season 8. We are in Part 1. I'm in mean, Part 2. My bad. How did they duck? Oh, man. I don't know what else to say, man. It's pointless. I'm so sick of everybody trying to play the victim when OG was innocent. And they trying to make it seem like she's guilty. And it pissing me off right now. And I wish Cece was there, but I don't blame her that she's not. I wish she was dead so she could defend herself because t people want to talk about Byron. Still bringing up his name, but the fact that Christian tried to play the victim is really bullcrap. It's really bullshit, and I wish she could stop. And now, I feel like they're going to bring her back, but not Cece. I rather Cece and OG to be back on the show. Fuck the rest of the girls. That's just how I feel about that. But I want to know how everybody else would feel about it because I know I ain't the only one. And then for Shawnee to, to try to smooth things out, ain't buying that. Not one thing, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You need a better host. See, if I was that good, I would be a perfect host. And I would not take size. You know, because that's not the type of guy I am. I'm neutral to this situation. But yeah, I don't really have much to say. We know Jennifer may have probably created that her and Evelyn's not going to be friends again. And that's good. Because... Jennifer got a lot more things to go on, like she got an event, and it's really messed up. And Melissa could have went to jail. Jennifer could sue her if she wanted to. And she's rich. No one could take down, like, because you know Jennifer is not about that. Like, you're going to fight somebody that can't fight back. That's pathetic. You know what I'm saying? She should be ashamed of herself. I was here for it, but now it made me turn the table around on Malaysia. She should be a goddamn ashamed of herself. And the rest of the girls, I don't know why Jackie tried to kiss their ass so much. And I know she wanted to get that check. I ain't stopping you. But what's wrong is wrong. You know damn well they was wrong how they treat OG. And they never give the bear the doubt to get to know her. And give her a chance of nothing like that. That's just bull. And then we find that she got fired. So I'm not surprised. But I am upset. Because now I'm going to miss OG. She's one of the realest ones on the show. And I miss CC too because she finally read their ad on the show at the season finale. At least before that. Phoebe needs to her ad down too because she's nothing. And I'm glad she ain't coming back. But guys, that's all I have to say about Basketball Wife at the last part two of this reunion because this is pointless. I'm so done with Basketball Wife. I don't even know if I'm going to do season nine, but I might still watch it. I might do Dallas, but like I said before last week, we'll see about that. But this is your boy, the RC Kogan. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.